Hello everyone, my name is Lance Collins and I'm the Dean of Engineering at Cornell University. I've been doing a little research on the side since becoming Dean and have managed to convert the synchrotron into a functioning time machine. Let's go take a look at it. In our first attempt at time travel, we have brought back a Cornell engineering student from the class of 1962, and I have him here with me today. Hello, sir. Welcome to the future. Thank you very we much. Are, tell me, what are the biggest differences between 1962 and 2017? Well, to be totally honest, the quad is pretty much exactly the same. Yes, we should probably do something about that. I mean, with all the advances in technology, you would think the quad would have, would have changed at least a little bit since 1962. We're going to have to work on that. We put together a plan to bring the whole engineering quad into the 21st century, starting with a renovation of Upson Hall, which will be open this fall, including a space in the lower level for student project teams like the Mars Rover team. Mars Rover? Yeah, right. And I suppose the aerospace engineers have developed a space station, and we've landed on the moon. Maybe we need to get him back to 1962. I have been honored to lead this great institution with the help of alumni, parents, and friends. Tuesday, March 14th is Pie Day. It's also Cornell's Giving Day. When you have your pie, please consider a small slice for Cornell Engineering. I hope you will support the college with a gift when you hear from me and your homeschooler department that day. Thank you and go Cornell Engineering. The synchrotron was not harmed in the filming of this video.